Hello, I'm Dark Berries. I hijacked this channel again to talk about, Hunter Full FAQ Guide for Ragnarok X Next Generation. Here I will explain, newbie to veteran knowledge of Hunter, included Bill, tips with explanation. First, I will explain about longbow and shortbow weapons. Longbow is attack speed build and shortbow is a skill spammer build. Longbow as known as attack speed build, is the most popular meta build for hunters. Shortbow as known as falcon and trapper build, is no recommended. The shortbow as known as falcon build, was once the best free to play build in Taiwan server, but it was nerfed after 2 months, because you can become strong without spending money. Just pump intelligent for insane true damage, Rock's falcon build can be very strong like trapper and rom? Rock's dev did not allow this. Shut up you desperate ROM fanboy lol. Since the Falcon and Trapper build is dead. So this video will only intro about Longbow as known as attack speed build guy. First about the stat builds. Full dex for attack and skill cooldown reduction. After change job to the hunter, you can add a few luck for auto falcon chance. Every 100 dex give you 5% bonus boost. So high dex equals high attack you get. So after your total dex reaches 100, you can consider putting some on luck. Every 1 luck gives you 0.3% chance to auto falcon while normal attacking. However, full dex is still better. Adding luck for auto falcon just gives you a minor DMG bonus boost. Not that much. You can test yourself with a new loadout. Next is the Hunter skill build. At the early game, when your attack speed is low, you need double strafing, charge arrow, arrow rain to increase your DPS. At the mid or late game, when your attack speed is high, around 540% above, which you can shot 3 arrow per second, remove all DPS skills. Only use built some beat and focused shot only. PvP can use charge arrow. Save other skill points for sniper skill tree. In rocks, you can carry archer, hunter skill point to sniper skill tree. How to get high attack speed. Use the ancient flower ring and elegant incense to get a ton of final attack speed increase, refine your weapons also does. White attack speed talesman is must get in the early game. It provides a ton of attack speed you need. In rocks, the max final attack speed is 1000%. Here is the chart to check how many arrows per second you can shoot. In rocks, attack speed and final attack speed is a different stat. You need to click your attack speed to check the actual final attack speed provided. You can use the Excel file to calculate your attack speed. Credit goes to his owner, link on the description. From here you can see, the white card Smokey with attack speed increase by 120 is becoming less effective when you had 500 attack speed. And the 500 attack speed is easily achieved with weapon and attack speed talisman strengthen. Here is another example for critical. Crit parameter convert to final crit percent chart. From here you can see, the best white card skeleton worker crit plus 120 is becoming less effective when you had 250 above critical. And 250 is easily achieved with level 40 crit accessory and level 70 crit talisman. That's why white card is temporary, and blue card is your end game card. One copy of white card is enough for deposit purposes later, more than that is wasted. 
untradeable. Equipment choice, free to play is recommend using white weapons with level 40 white armor set and white up. Change weapons every 10 level. Use the inherit feature to transfer state, tier up weapons is no recommended without slave blacksmith smelting support. Or you can choose to use blue weapons, which is crafted with instance boss materials. Blue weapons is stronger than white weapons by 50%, but double more expensive refine cost compare with white equipment. For the armor, use level 40 white set, it gives you a good damage boost for MVP, PvP, instance, tier up it if needed. Change and inherit to level 8 high white set later. For life drain. Or collect Valkyrie coins from the instance, use them to craft purple armor set at mid game. The most recommended end game gear set. Its set effect give you more survivability, alive equals more DPS. Blue armor set effect is useless in PvP and worthless without full 8 set. Recommended to skip blue armor set since you can't inherit refine, you can't inherit refine level between white, blue, purple, gold equipment. For the accessories, the white set is always the best. Give you a lot of boost with a cheap price. You can skip blue and consider changing to gold at late game, when the price become low and stable. Enchantment choice, you can use Prontra enchant on weapons, if you are lazy or poor. But it was recommended to use Mara, or Heian, for a better boost. For the accessories enchantment, it was recommended to use as loot, fire DMG. Because in rocks, the fire is the best elemental. Almost no side effect, and a lot of mobs weak against it, or Prontra if you are lazy or poor. Accessories had 9 slots, at level 10 you will have 10% fire damage. It means you will get 90% above fire damage increase. You will hit a lot harder than enchanting main stat, dex. After you are done with his loot fire damage enchantment, fire will be your main elemental, hit everything with fire arrow, but not fire mob. Hunter had the advantage that, they can switch weapons elemental freely. Always buy different elemental quiver with you, and use the target's weakness elemental against it. How to get stronger, upgrade your character step by step. First, refine all your equipment to plus 2. Then weapons strengthen LV60 for upgrade awakening. Awakening tier 1 here means, any two equipment to reach the required strength and level. Since bow is two handed, so it was count as two equipment. Next, refine all your equipment to plus 4. This is the safe level that won't level down when refine fail. Then, upgrade weapon strength in level 100. For shadow equipment unlock. Pick any two accessories strengthen to level 20. For upgrade awakening. Lastly, refine your weapon to plus 6. Blessed stone for anti-break needed. For shadow equipment unlock and refine awakening. You can tear up white accessories and tailsmen anytime when you needed. Also, shoe and cloak strengthen to level 50. No armor because no HP increase. Pick any two accessories strengthen to level 25. For upgrade awakening tier 3. Then weapons strengthen level 160 above. End game. Little advisor, when you are level 70 below, without level 7 tie white accessories. 
you will be having a hard time achieving full critical build. Because there are no many cards that provide critical percent, so when level 70 below, priority increase attack speed over attack and damage increase, and lastly critical. After level 70 above, with the level 70 white critical accessories plus shadow equipment, you can finally achieve nearly 80% plus crit chance, with 3 Anubis card. Reminder, if you making a critical build, please note that penetration did not increase critical damage. Penetration is the parameter that increases damage and gives ignore defense percent bonus. So it won't work on critical. Because of 3 Anubis cards with high level shadow equipment is expensive for some free to play. So the penetration build also might be a good idea as well. If you final crit percent below 80%, Penetration normal ad build might be better than crit build. At the end of the video, to encourage the Rocks Hunter players, here is some endgame sniper showcase.